you didn't ask about that domestic, the reason why we are getting a new domestic. Oh, really? I was supposed to. So yeah, you are. Please yeah, tell me, why are they building it? Yeah, because. Welcome to my schools, Africa. Prove that your school is the best school. Where I am coming from is the headmaster's office. When I got into this school, actually, I did a bit of research and then I got to find out that this, school, this institution was actually um, pioneered by a very great chief. I mean, it's a very great chief who actually started this institution in this community. So when I got in here, I was so, this, the story is so inspiring. When I got over here, I was so much interested in seeing the statue of this personality over here but it is not here so i went straight to the headmaster and we had a little conversation concerning that and we've agreed on something i also want to have the same conversation with the the controllers of the school the the, the src core of the school they are here you see them if they agree on that too then we're going to come up with something interesting and of course my name is Gosses. and then my trip to Anwe J Senior High School I am proudly accommodated by Rampora Beach Resort here at Ezenlebo amazing beach resort also if you do appreciate everything that is happening on this channel please give me your endorsement by hitting on the subscribe button this is actually my eight out of about 800 senior high schools to reach in this country what i need from you is full sponsorship if you know of any full company tell them that there are, there are a lot of interesting things happening here and it will worth it if they join and also if i'm showing up in your town or in any town to promote a school and you know of any accommodation over there please let, connect me to them and let them host me that would be so good until then okay not until then right now let's go and see the student so now here's the thing i understand that your school was instituted by a very great chief of this town but he's late so when i got in here what i was expecting to see is the sculpture of the person over here so that i can take a photo with him and send it online and tell your people that i'm here but i couldn't get to see anything so what i did was that i quickly called half a senior high school and then i spoke with the headmaster and i told him that this is what i've noticed over there and once his school they are into sculpture making what i want is that i want to establish a partnership between his school and anwe j so that the student over there will make a sculpture of the the person who instituted the school over here so that when we come it will be an honor to him and the school agreed and is now left with you do you think we should do this yes is it a good thing yes guys it's a good thing so what it means is that you the old students you all have to come on board and then contribute your quota to procuring all the materials that will be used by high school students to do this sculpture over here so that when you show up over here you will be so proud of your school and trust me a lot of developmental projects are happening just when i got over here they're already painting the gate and everything ask yourself have you contributed even a dime to your school repent <laughs> repent <laughs> okay now it is time to meet the head boy and have an extensive conversation about this school where's the head boy <laughs> he's here bro Alpha. hello senior ha. i have been looking for you like where have you been oh god uh, i was discussing one or two things with one of the masters in his office amazing my name is gosher from high school south africa please Introduce yourself to them. Oh, my name is Emmanuel Mugru as the head boy of this noble institution. Amazing. Yes. Ima, yes, how please. do they address you over here? I want to be sure. How do your colleague student call the head boy over here? If they want to say, do they call you um what was the name? Ima? Yes. Do they yes, just Ima. do they just call you Ima? Hey Ima come or they say Master Ima or Sir Ima? or your highness ima or president ima yes it is your highness ima they call actually you your they highness. don't normally use the ima they use my surname uh, your highness mugro 
that's how they say it. yes your, your highness, highness bro. so over here they address you as your highness, your highness so yes. guys over here this guy is a king a, a king or a chief or a king your highness yes amazing yes. now your highness yes yes i have heard so much about your school i know j senior high school great okay. school Yes. and i'm so for me in particular i'm very interested in the history because i've read a bit about it which i want to get the full story like the full details of the okay. history of the school okay but then okay before that i want you to show me what's interesting about this school but you know these people they are very curious and they okay. would like to see your face okay this is yes. the amazing gentleman we're dealing with over here so he is the owner of anna j senior high school right now you can't bypass him and go anywhere amazing yes what are you going to show me so so, so for the records <laughs> over here when he's moving he doesn't go alone his entourage have to follow him and hey anuji <laughs> you people <laughs> amazing oh, God. bro yes, you brought yes. me a whatsapp here my left hand side where we came from yes where you came from yes so you can guess what i mean the road is it's so good guys yes, this Zima yes. people they have super excellent road yes but i'm surprised you have portals over here why is it like that okay this one is planned it's deliberate yes, yes deliberate so because when the cars are moving around they will be speeding and all that so we need to create something that when they get to that place they will slow down a little bit hey, you people are bad oh. <laughs> <laughs> not like we are we are trying to uh, want to save, the save certain things yes please amazing yeah. so at my right side side it has to do with the beach and some of the bases i mean never bases some of the facilities and all that so, there's a never base here yes there's a never base there Hey. Yes, yes. I didn't see that one. I only saw the beach. Yes, because the beach with the lagoon. What's the name of the town? Ezenlebo. 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 Guys, yes. don't worry. We we'll get to the history. Don't worry. <laughs> Ezenlebo. Ezenlebo. Yeah. And this this gate is huge. Yes. By far, this is one of the some of the one of the biggest gate I have I have seen. Exactly. Exactly. Was it, a, was it? Did it come by donation or it was it was part of the building of the whole facility? Okay, with this, it is part of the building facility. So surprised you guys have this small um, security post over there because there's some schools. <laughs> they put their security men in a, a BMO, the sun, the ah, sun. I know God. two schools. Should I, should, I say, should I say the name? I know two schools. Okay. <laughs> they don't have this thing to yes, put security yes. in. They are in the sun. Please, yes. if you are part of those schools, stop. Stop. Don't don't betray security. You know you know the Enzima people will, be, will tell you that Benze Benze. Although I'm not good at the Enzima speaking, but one thing I learned that Benze meaning Benze means they what? don't know. They, they ah, don't know. Yes. You don't know. You don't know. I'm yes. telling you, you don't know. You know your name is very amazing. So it amazing. sounds like Italian. It, it's actually um, okay. okay. A Hebrew word. A Hebrew you word. Are the only head head boy head prefect who is asking. Wow. Who is being inquisitive about <laughs> Goshes? Goshes uh, is a Hebrew word. It okay. means um, out of the out of it means rivers of living waters. Rivers of living out waters. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living waters. Fantastic. The I he, tell you, you the know Hebrew, the word. The Hebrew you know the is Goshes. Fantastic. It's Goshes. Wow. wow. <laughs> this painting. I would like to tell you something small. When we came in, yes. it was people were here doing people the People were here doing it. But then we came to this school around last two years or so, 2019. And then the painting was like faded. Faded. I don't know how to explain it to you for you to understand, but it was not at all, not at all. Since I had a, uh, since I had a position, I shouldn't realize I need to start something. So we started painting this building as you can see so you're actually the one who is making sure that this thing is done over exactly here. exactly <laughs> you know i have i have <laughs> a, a, a nice src members oh okay very supportive sharing ideas and all that amazing yes that's why everywhere i will go my members will be following me. amazing yes they are very supportive looking at two buses over here looks okay. like this one is not working yes but yes, this yes. one does it work yeah actually it works but unfortunately they send this bus for a tour 
But when they came back, they were complaining that there's a fault. Okay, so but you guys are going to get it fixed very soon. Fantastic. And you also Fantastic. have those two poly tanks. What, yes. what are they for? Supplying waters. Actually, when the when lights are off, yes. Yeah, so these poly tanks are there to maintain, yes, conserve water so that when the lights are off and then there's no water. We will be able to draw water from the. So like a reservoir. Yes, reservoir. Res they have a water reservoir. What do you have in your school? <laughs> hey, <laughs> oh, don't say that. And so, what is this? Is it a seesaw? Like I don't know. No, this one actually it's an uncompleted notice board. Uncompleted of which, notice board. Yes, yes. Of which we are planning to. You like to say there? Okay. Can I join you? Yes. Okay. Yes. Why yes. not? <laughs> <laughs> so. This notice board was here when we came to the school, yes, and then it was like this. So I went to the senior semester and asked about him, what is, what's all about this notice board? And then he told me that our predecessors, that's 2019, the Abaj, they started it and then they couldn't finish. Finish. So since I am in the office now, if I can do something about it, and then he gave me the permission, so we are putting thin, things in place so that we'll be able to complete, complete this, it. this nice notice. Amazing. Is it the only one you have over here? It yes, it is not the only one. It is not the only one. Okay. One is at the seniors' blog. You go yes. there, you take we'll me there, there, right? Yes. So what I'm, what I'm, what I'm requesting of you, the alumni, is that this okay. thing is an uncompleted project over yes. here, and you need to finish it and make it ultra modern for the school yes. make it full of light and glass you have a, see you have a lot of money come and give come yes. and donate to the school and let them complete this yes. project over here fantastic yes it is very necessary it will is very that. necessary tell them they should bring the money they yes have the money. you know there's a saying in the bible that god blesses a cheerful giver so as you give the Lord will also give it to you back. So definitely, it no, will be nice. We if are not give, asking you. We are not yes. begging you. Yes. We are yes. ordering you. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> this is your school. Yes. So, which building is this? <laughs> administration block. This is administration yes, block. Please, yes, All please. the teachers and everyone. All the teachers. Here. I mean, yes, amazing. But I've also seen something over there. Can we go and see it? Yes, actually, why not? What is this? Actually, this is the basketball field. Mm. Yes. Do you have any plans of actually building it, like doing it, fixing it over here? Yes, we have plans, good plans to to sort things out. So what is left is fans, right? Yes, fans. So fans. here, that is it. So alumni, you come in again. There's so much to be done over here. Okay. Your school, the 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 area view of your school is yes. comparable to that of GSTS. Okay. The only difference is that um, GSTS they have tall buildings over there. You have tall buildings, but if you just take a look, so this is actually how your school looks like. You have a very beautiful football pitch. I know. Look at this. If this thing is fully fixed, I think it's going to um, give a new face to the school. So um, just put yourself together and show up there. I have put a number of the school in the description box where you have to come and make a donation. You have money. Just come and give ten thousand Ghana cedis to the school. Ten thousand. Ten thousand is nothing to you. Come and give 10,000 Ghana to the school and let them complete this. Yes. So that the continuing student will enjoy what you didn't. I have heard that black man will never sow a seed he will not live to reap. <laughs> Don't be that person, please. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Amazing. Yes. So what is this? This, this building is what? Okay, that building is the junior's block. Just the junior's block? Yes. Oh, okay. Junior's block. That's the junior's block. So yes. where is the senior's block? Actually, the senior vlog is over there. Can we go there? Yes, please. Yes, I would like to show you this, this vehicle and then the building. This car looks new. Fantastic. Super new. I tell you. One thing that I've made AnuEJ a senior school, a, like, I mean a senior most school is this car. Although it is not the only one, but it adds something to it. Because along this uh, Jamro district or this in Zimalad, we have schools, about six or ten schools, but then only our headmaster had the opportunity to get this vehicle. Sir? Yes, yes, I tell you. Where is it coming from? Where is the car coming from? It is coming from the 
uh, Ministry of Education donated. GES. Yes, yes. So GES donated by the Get Fan, I mean. So GES um, gave out the cars to yes. the heads, the and then head your masters. headmaster was yes. fortunate enough to get one. To get one. GES remembered your headmaster. And no AJ. What is our what's your headmaster's name? Mr. Uh, Sam. Yes, Mr. Sam. Mr. Samuel. Sam. Yes. Mr. Sam. GES actually remembered Mr. Sam up here. Here at Anueje. Look, the way the head boy is saying it looks like he's so grateful to you, GES, for yes, remembering yes, his headmaster yes, and giving yes. him this. What do you say to GES? Hey, I would like I to mean, say ciao. a big thank you, a big thank you, a big thank you. You are doing well, I mean, yes, you are doing well. God bless GES, you. GES, you are mean, What do we say to GES? Yes. <laughs> Miss. Alpha. Cool. Cool, eh? Yeah, everything is going on. She got film. See, I have heard this. This is this is a girl's dormitory. Yeah, is that exactly. True? Yeah, this is the, the girls girl's dormitory. dormitory. Yeah, the fantastic and, and lovely dormitory ever. Amazing. This yeah. is the most fantastic and lovely dormitory ever. ever. Yeah. And the I've ever. Heard I want you to I mention it. Yeah. The ever. The ever. Ever. Yeah. It's the ever. <laughs> the, which school do you belong? Do you even have a house? <laughs> they don't. They don't. They or don't have. They don't have. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. And I understand that you are the, the caretaker. Yeah. Tell me something about this house. Okay. In the house, we are having five rooms. Yeah. And for the names, we are having a Zwamila. And it's. Come again. A Zwamila. Calm down for me. Okay. Like, come to my standard. Okay. Come all the way down for me. Okay. The house is called Ezra Mela. Ezra Mela. Yeah. What does that mean? Okay. It's a name of one of the legends who were here. He's a guy? Yeah, yeah. A guy? Yeah. A man? Yes, of course. Yeah. A man. Yeah. Ezra Mela. Yes, please. So the house is called Ezra Mela. Ezra Mela. Yeah. How many people does it have? Okay. We are having many students here. And each house carries about 3,000 and about students in hey, yeah. so. serious I'm wow. really good, but yeah one wow. house three thousand yeah i don't believe you ah, i don't believe true, it it's true talk do you believe me it's a house. true talk a yes house. yeah yes how many beds do you have in the house over <laughs> over like i don't want to talk much hey, yeah three thousand people yeah we can't go into six what's like, the, what's yeah. the school population oh we're about five thousand <laughs> yeah i'm telling you the facts <laughs> I know you have about 5,000. Yeah, we have about 5,000. <laughs> Let's go. 5,000 pounds. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> 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 Guys, I don't know. Do you think she's telling the truth? 5,000. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> and this one, the little house about, about how, okay, how many houses do you have over here? Over here? How many houses? Okay, there are 16. Yeah, 16. 16? Yes. The guy put his hand on his head. <laughs> That's right. You have 16 houses over here. Yeah, we have And this one, okay. If you have 16 houses, and this one has 5,000, like 3,000 people. <laughs> this one has 3,000 people. How about the rest? The yeah. 15. As like as I said, house one, it's it's like a golden house and that stuff. So it carries about three thousand students. So as we are having five thousand students, there is about um three hundred, four hundred in the it's and that's how it yeah, <laughs> yes. Which house are you yourself? House one, the golden house. It's called the golden house. Yeah, the golden house. That's the Eswami house. How many bathrooms do you have there? Oh we have been about twenty bathrooms and yeah. Each one carries a toilet and that was. Do you have do you have fans in there? Many, they are many, they are many. Girls dormitory? Yes. Is it because I can't go there? You can. Like it's a challenge. I'm training a challenge. Hey, this girl, she knows I can't go there, so look at what she's <laughs> doing. Like, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> <laughs> you have been everything. Like, it's a congenial environment. So, so you can you show me all the 15, 16 houses? Yeah, I can show you. If you, you if only you challenge, I can show you. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Sarah Kusiapia. Where are you from? Takwa. <laughs> yeah, Takwa, Golden City. Shall I go this city? <laughs> okay, no problem. But I've seen a house over there. Is it part of your facility? Yeah. Can you take me there? Yeah. Which one is this? Okay. It's an uncompleted project. Yeah, it's, 
uncompleted building as you see and it's being built by the government yeah it's a new dormitory for the girls like, i mean the girls dormitory the new one for the girls and it contains about 17 rooms and toilet and bath we have everything in that but this one just has about 70 rooms. yeah just that it's uncompleted for now yeah and then um there's another one happening down there too okay that one too by the government no no please it by talo ghana talo yeah talo yeah. ghana oh yeah. okay so how many people do you think this one is going to accommodate okay as i said earlier in the golden house i guess we are many so after they are done with this they will bring some here yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. okay and they will also send some over yeah, there yeah amazing yeah but but you didn't ask about that dormitory the reason why we are getting a new dormitory oh really i was supposed to so, yeah you are, please yeah, tell me why to. are they building it? yeah because because we are good in academic performances and that stuff and we do perform very well so that brought by encouraging them to bring us all build us a new dormitory Hello, sort way that they yeah. give you a new building yeah. to really thank you for, for what, what you do yeah Cool. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Which one is this? Yeah, as I was saying, or was showing you some of the dormitory, like uh, this is the plan. And when we are done with the dormitory, this what or how it's going to look. And it's going to be the nicest dormitory ever in the country. Amazing. Yeah. I can yeah. even see the design from yeah. here. It looks so good. Amazing. Guys, Fantastic. Looks so good. Look at how they've connected the staircase and all yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It will make movement over here so easy. Amazing. So here in Anwar J, I also understand that this light you're looking at over here. Actually, what, ha what happens is that when lights are out in other senior high schools, like across the whole country, this one will still be on. Simply because Android J is 10 years ahead of you in technology and innovation. This thing is solar powered. Solar powered though, Android J is not your regular school. They also have a dedicated dining hall that feeds the student 24 7. And I have never, this is my first time seeing. A school with a dining hall that has a menu board. Breakfast, lunch, supper. And then they write them over here, rice and stew, lunch, supper is rice and soup. Here at Anwar J, I don't know, in your school you have to write everything in your notebook or something. But here, so advanced. And this where I'm working right now is their science lab. They have some sophisticated guys I, I wish I can see inside it's so beautiful here is the here is where they do their um, the titration and the chemical combination where they learn the digestive system and come and see come I don't know but they have some of the most advanced um, is it microscope telescope or is what microscope. microscope guys they are so new we just we just happened upon them brand new boxes this school is so rich, they can afford. How about your school? Uh -huh. I feel sad for you. This, this microscope, is it microscope? Yes, please. They are so new, just so new, brand new microscope over here. I'm sorry for you if you schooled over here and you didn't get opportunity to enjoy these facilities, but now they are here, here at Anwar J. Amazing, this is the biology lab and so much is happening here. This is also their physics lab, super ultra modern. And they have a lot of sockets over here. Guys, here is where they do the plugs. They do all the robotics works. It's quite unfortunate that I couldn't meet some over here, but they are super genius. Super genius guys are over here when it comes to robotics. They do everything over here. Amazing. Ha! I am so sad that all these things didn't happen. Um, at your time during your time here in this school but now Anna J is not the school you used to know everything is so changed over here amazing amazing maybe you should go and write this here and come back to school again what do you think Miss Sarah yeah which course are you offering over here okay actually I'm an I'm a con student. I'm a con student. Yeah. So this is a department. Yes. It is quite unfortunate that we couldn't meet the HOD. Yeah. And it's closed. 
Yeah. But what do you have in there? Just so that if um, the BEC student they want to do home accounts, they may choose to, um, they may consider whether to come here or if things that are in there are bogus, then they are not coming. What's in there? Okay. This is the home accounts department, as you said earlier on, and our HOD is not around, so it's closed. Mm. But I can tell you everything, every, I mean everything. In Sarah, I know you. You know, <laughs> it's true. I'm telling you the facts. I'm telling you the facts. Okay. Like, we know as a lady in your kitchen, you need to get such equipment and tools that you need to get in a kitchen. And in this department, I mean this department, we have everything that we need like we have it we have everything everything is everything. there i mean everything everything is there yeah. everything. everything all the cooking setup you have it everything. in there everything that's what i use tools and equipment we have everything everything can you swear i a, a, oh stop oh, oh. <laughs> hey, let's go i need to, I don't I need to <laughs> like, you need to believe me because everything i say is true yeah anything everything i mean everything <laughs> it's a truth. So, so now you showed up from somewhere, certain JHS, and, and then you came here to pursue yeah. home economics. Yeah. How has this school really been okay. of a help to you? We always do practicals. Like in this world, or for this economic that we are now, you need to get something that you can offer. Like when you complete um, SHS, and I choose to offer home economics because our madam is very good. Yeah. We heard a lot about her before we came in here. She's very good in practical. We do practical always. We always have practical. Even if um, she's not around, we have someone who assists her to do the practical. So you can you cook jollof? I can do it better. So should we go and buy ingredients? Ah! Hey, this girl, you go and buy ingredients. You don't, you don't need to challenge <laughs> everything. So wait. You, you can do palm nut soup. <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't hey. talk much. I don't. Talk. Hey. Yeah, you need to bring the. Oh, I don't need to talk much. Okay, guys, she's saying it all. Yeah, yeah. So I wish, I wish I can go inside, but the HOD is not around, and she's saying that everything is in there. Everything. I can't challenge that, and she's also saying that she can cook, and she can even cook jollof. She can cook palm nut soup. Yeah. Yeah. Palm no soup. Yes. Jollof. That, that Do you know the, what it takes to cook jollof? I have never that. succeeded in cooking jollof in my life. Yeah, because and you say you can yeah. do it. And my home coins, <laughs> madam, yeah, my HOD, yeah, she's very fantastic. And she has taught you how to cook jollof. Yes, exactly. You exactly. can cook for your school administration, oh. and they won't have any problem. There is no problem concerning my cooking because my madam is very good. Yeah, very good, amazing. I'm going. <laughs> Come and look at something. Yeah. What the, you have a you have a farm in the school. Yeah. Why do you have a farm here? Yeah. First of all, I would say if you go to other schools, uh, they are offering a Greek, but they don't have this opportunity to uh, plant this uh, vegetation that you see here. Is it that they don't have the opportunity, or they are lazy? They are lazy, the and they don't have uh, like. The, the land to even plant. Why in our school? Because our land is large. It's about 30 acres of land. So because of this, you cannot misuse the land. So after after the structures, we plan that we cannot leave the, the bare land for it to be bushy. After uh, because of it, we taught it twice with the agri student that we make something out of the bare land. So when you thought of it, this is what came out of it. So you use this one to plant, make a cassava farm over here? Yeah. So this is the work of the agri student in this school? Yes. So when, whenever we get uh, extra time, when uh, there is no program around, we just come around to plant more of the cassavas. And when we go to the other parts of it, we have cassava, we have uh, plantains and other stuff and even have pigs farm, fowls and more. For the school? Yeah. And it's not even, uh, it was not brought by the teachers, it's we the students that we taught it twice. To do that? Yeah. So if you wish, you can go to the pigs farm 
and we will all experience what we are saying. It's not a joke. So, so how about the schools that are doing a Greek and are not also have lands, but they are not doing anything with it? For them, I would say they are lazy. And <laughs> they are lazy. And they don't know, like, they don't know what is in us. You can ask my boys. Sometimes you, use, you have boys. Yeah. <laughs> the SRC members have my guys who used to say South, uh, certain terms. They don't know what is in. So if they are to be wise enough, uh, they can do this and even match us, uh, our S's. As, some, uh, as time goes on, we are still planting and planting. It will get to a time, maybe people from other schools will come to our school for school feeding. Like, <laughs> other... like which school? Which school do you think will come Oh, in? many schools. <laughs> like which school? Like, I can't, <laughs> if I should mention DSTS, Portes, <laughs> Ghana National and others. <laughs> they will come for school feeding. Yeah, <laughs> those of the school, two things, they are high or something like that. <laughs> Yeah. They will all come here for school. They will all come <laughs> very soon. And during that time, I will personally call you to come and have a, a, a look at it. <laughs> when they come with their with they'll, their boats to come yeah. and school. <laughs> they will come with their school buses. And even they will pay they will pay they will pay extraordinary money before we can give them some because they are lazy and they are in the school, they are not doing nothing. But in our school, we are doing something. So they should watch out. I'm sorry, guys. They should watch out. They are misusing their land. They should come and see. They should come and have a look at what we, a no AJ student, a great student, are doing. Now there is this sculpture of a boy and a girl, probably yes. student. They are in your uniform. Yes, 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 yes. Why do you have this in here? What's the story? Uh, okay. Uh, there is a little bit about this statue, as you said, a boy and a girl. Actually, Mr. Ansa, he was then the headmaster of this school and then he brought it up to identify that this school is a male school. Understand? Yes. That's the main reason why we are seeing male and then a female. Oh, okay. Yes. yes. And also the book here is to symbolize, uh, yes. to create a picture of academics. Yes. Like learning yes. happens over here yes. a lot. Exactly. Exactly. What I say, is it right? I'm just Very saying my, telling my own story. I don't want to change history. No, as we started the video, I once told you that uh, you are you are correct. I'm and correct. then I don't I don't correct. regard people correct. If I say that you are correct, then you are correct. Then I'm correct. That's why you are correct here. <laughs> so yes. so this is your old notice board. Yes. That is what you are using currently. Yes. And you're hoping to fix that one to replace mm, this. Exactly. And it was donated by the SRC Batch 2009, 2010, 2010, 2011. Yes. So, so they put this thing together here. Yes. So you can see that it's, it's been long, it's been long, and then we are trying to build something. A new yes. one. A new one, ultra modern one. So the one. That's that, why we need their the, help most. Yes. Yes. That's why we, we need their help most. They don't want to use this anymore. They want a new one, a very bigger one over there. So um come to the aid of the school and then come and donate. Which block is this? This block, uh, actually this place is a senior block. This is the senior block yes. you spoke about? Yes, please. Amazing. So this one is what? Uh, that place is the science class. Science class. Yeah, business class. Business class. And then we have the uh, uh, the assembly hall faced inside. The assembly office, assembly yeah, hall. Assembly hall. We have an assembly hall there. Yes, please. Yes. This is the and this is the entirety of the seniors senior seniors block. Yes. Here at NJ Senior High School. Ah, oh. amazing. Yeah. They have they have the chairs in there. They have lights. They have fans. Almost everything is in there. Yes. So yes. um, this school is ready to host you and then um, impact to you the knowledge that you deserve to go out there to excel. Fantastic. Amazing. Okay. Now, I want to see you. I'm so much interested in art. Do you have okay. an art, show, art class over here? Yes, uh, especially the visual arts. That's, that's the one I'm talking yes, about. Yes, so and it's right over there. There's another one over here, the notice board. Yes. This one was donated by the Scripture Union, 
and it look more modern as compared to the one we saw over there but the end goal is to get the one over there behind the administration fully fixed yes so that it can add a lot of beauty to the school so visual art just when you see a visual art block you see it yes the designs and then we have drawings over here so many of them yeah and you can also see that they've recently they probably did um artwork yes practicals over here this is it guys i like this drawing ha. this drawing is so nice so 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 nice yes there's more there's more to show yes actually it was done by the students the students yes definitely it was done by this thing the other one was drawn by a female and then which one the other one the first one that one the one looks like vessels and mm. yes it was drawn by the female and this one a male yes a first year student awesome a first year student i wish i could talk this. to him yes he's so good guys you like this drawing let me know how often do you use this football pitch in the weekends and then actually when some of the national teams they want to have a training on it they normally use it and then when we are having inter house and then games around to we normally host it in our school so wait yes. you say something about how, how do you mean national teams national teams the clubs that we are having in our country i don't understand how do you mean the, yeah, I mean which clubs? Can you be specific? Clubs like Asante Kotoko, Accra Hase folks, those division teams, those big big teams, they have been coming to have training here. Or oh, you've heard not of it. I tell you. <laughs> you need to you need to you need to uh, witness it yourself. I They've been you. coming here. Can you show can you prove it? I can prove it. Should I prove it? Prove it. Let me tell you a, a, a story. We have these people at the Ashanti Kotokos, yes. They came here a time and then they were having a training. So our students were there and then they were moving along. So they called them that if they can have a training with them, then they went. Through the training, our, one of our students shooted a, a shot and then it hit the bar. Then the bar collapsed. And then it yeah, wait wait the guy shot shot like yes. shot kicked the ball kicked the ball and the ball did what broke the bar broke the bar I don't know like wait. beyond imagination wait 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 which team I sent to wait that team yeah I sent to they came all the way here to a Zen label because this uh, fact <laughs> that this fact that we are having it's not an ordinary fact that you are just looking at it even there is a time hey you told me you are spiritual you told me you were christian no? <laughs> yes let, let me tell you one thing there's a time the president was going to visit uh, never base and then all the place the plane can't land on any land so they called us if they can have our park the park contained about three planes here i tell you the pictures are there you can see it yourself. Helicopter. Yes, helicopter. I mean, about three of them. Three of them. They came here, and then they landed on our park. So our park is not an. It's not a normal park that we have been playing on it. If I ask these guys whether it's true or not, they will lie. Is it true? Yes. Yeah. Let's go. Yes. Uh, this place is the boys' dormitory. It's a boys' dormitory. Yes, yes. So yes. this is the facility that um, accommodates all the boys over yes, here. Yes, all the boys. Amazing. Over here. As you, you can see, mm -hmm. the boys are very happy and all <laughs> that because the kind of room that we are having and all the fans, the boys, they are enjoying. Amazing. Yes. We are in a comfortable, comfortable lead and in a yes. comfortable zone. Yes. Amazing. Are you expecting to get more dormitories? Yes, yes, I'm expecting because to get Because the girls, more. they told us that they are having more dormitories over there. Yes. If you also expecting? Yes, some. I'm expecting some of the boys' dormitory. Because we have many lands behind the boys' day, so Okay, but if but I understand your school is very um, not too old. Okay. So you don't really have a lot of alumni who are really yes, rich yes, out there yes. and can contribute. Yes. So. So it is. No. I'm really hoping that um, those who are putting up a 
facility for the girls who also okay. consider putting the yes, same yes, for yes, the boys exactly. over here. Exactly. Amazing. Now the part where you tell me the story, the history of the school. Okay. But before that, I'd like to know what how, what courses do you do over here? Uh, we do uh, six courses. We have the general arts, the visual arts, uh, and then you know the general has been uh, classified in three. We have the art one, art two, and the art three. Those who do the languages, the literature students, and uh, the hi the history, the law people. Yes, and then we offer science here, and then home accounts. Uh, what again? A Greek. Yes. So those are and then business yes you also do business over here yes please amazing yes. so all these courses are offered here at anna j yes, high school yes, yes and um if you really okay before i go into that okay you know we've we've waited so much to hear personally and all those watching us have okay. waited so much to hear the story of the school okay can you tell me something about the school first and foremost i know aj is a senior high school uh, assisted by uh, Ghana Education Service, and then it is located in Ezenlebo. Ezenlebo. Yes. Ezenlebo. Ezenlebo. What is the meaning of Ezenlebo? Ezenlebo uh, is an Enzima word. Yes. So the Ezenle means tree, and then the boom is under. So in all, under tree. Under a tree. Under a tree, yes. Under a, a tree. A zen I think there is even uh, a more complex story to this than yes. just under yes. a tree. But yes. we can go into that. Yes. Okay. So the school is situated in a, this town called Ezenlebo. Ezenlebo. Oh, okay. Yes. In the Jomoro municipality. municipality. In the western region. Awesome. Yes. So this school was originated in the palace of Nana Nyamiche Echi. Yes. And then. He was ordained by a paramount chief named Nura, Nura Ano Eje. So with the paramount chief, Rulai Ano Eje, he had a vision. And then that vision was to develop the school from basic through secondary to a college of education. But then in 1947, he did something. The construction of the school building at its present site began. Please do you understand me? Yeah. Yes. So in 1961, it was formally opened as middle school under the name of Anueje Memorial School in honor of the two. Now, with this junior high, uh, junior school that uh, the Paramount Chief and his executive built, the aim of building that school is to reach the needs of the example town. I mean. And then the, some of the communities around, like Bonire, the, yeah, the Bonre, the Naule, those communities around in Dumsu as well and the rest. Also, so, yes, that's the full aim of building this school. 1991, and we are in 2022. Yes, yes. So, how yes. old is the school? Yes, so, through the trend, we can say that the school is now 31 years old. The now. school is now 31 years old. Yes. It's just a baby school. It's yes. not really that old. Yes. Amazing. Mm -hmm. yeah, so through the process, uh, Jomoro Senior High School was now renamed, and then it was called. It is called Anue J Senior High School. Like we know now. Uh, like yes. Amazing. Like we know now. Amazing. But then the reason why the school was renamed is that the forefathers who brought up the school, I mean the Paramount Chief. Yes, he played a vital role. So they sat down and realized that, so why should we not do something to at least remember those who brought the school up? So that's the main reason they named the school Anueje Senior High School, because the Paramount Chief was, was called Anueje. Yes, um, Anueje. Yes. I don't know. So basically, this is the story behind this school, Anueje Senior High School. So if you have been to this school and you don't even know the history, now everything is on earth to you. Okay. You have the information at hand. But your part as an alumni of the school is now to consider everything that you've seen. And uh, of course, I'm going to have a conversation with him. Will, will you take me to the headmaster? Yes, I, I like so to want him. to see him. Yeah. So what is it about the school that you think 
the whole world should know, like the current state of the school that you think the whole world should know, if they have some sort of impression or old thinking about the school? Thank you very much. And first of all, let me really express how grateful I am to have you Thank you, sir. at the school. And Father, I'm very excited Thank you, sir. that you are here. And I've heard about you, um, uh, High School Africa. What are yes. you doing for schools, you know, uh, promoting them across several platforms? And it's been very fantastic. So having you around is is kind of um, a for for uh, I'm making me very satisfied. I'm very, very much Thank fulfilled. You, and you asked about um, something about the school, what makes it so unique that um, maybe is only limited to people who have gone through the school. Yes, I know Jay, I would say it's quite an emerging school. Looking at the potential that it has, it will boomerang <laughs> on the web platform. Well, definitely. You know. <laughs> And people will be so amazed about the product that will be churning out. I'm sure there are a lot of products that will be in churn out in the past and are in places that I don't want to be uh, known, but soon they're going to know that the Amma Mata is a big time <laughs> educational institution. Amazing. Because it's emerging, coming out so forcefully. And thanks to you with your effort to promote us. Thank and you, sir. And again, we're so much grateful about it. Thank you, sir. Yeah. The Western Union Director of Education, Mrs. Felicia, Mrs. Felicia Ajibia Okai, she's been very fantastic to school. In fact, she's adopted the school. And through her initiatives, we've been able to have an ultra-modern science laboratory. I'm sure they... I saw it. It's it. so amazing. Yeah. Sophisticated things over there. And then we having it going to be equipped with the latest version of science equipment and materials. Oh, so the things that are there, that's not even... That is not even it. Amazing. And just uh, over the weekend, it started from last week, uh, past day, four teachers have been selected to undergo training to be able to mount these equipments. For the benefits of the students. Besides that, she's been able to facilitate the transforming of our ICT laboratory. Wow. In fact, it's going to be transformed into the ultra modern Ye ICT lab. You know, and the process is underway. Besides this, we have this fantastic pickup. Through your own initiatives. <laughs> wow. The you know, are so proud and they are so happy for you that you've gotten the makeup. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. Wow. And you can see the ultramodern gas dormitory, two store gas dormitory being put up, courtesy, you know, Taro or your PLC. The government do so much for us. We have a guest one put up, a guest another, you know, um, big. The material for us also two story, you know, and so these are some of the highlights of developments taking place in the school. But have you said that it, all, all the artists will always want to ask for more? Ask for more, definitely. See? And so we uh, 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 need classroom blocks, you know, to complement in the already development taking place there. And so currently that is where we are, and we are so much happy. We found ourselves giving us the hope that we're on the right track to, you know, taking our rightful place in the committee of schools, schools. not only now they look at the national level, but maybe on the international level. Uh, so, so now you've heard the vision of the school, and um, if you really share in the aspiration, the vision and the aspiration of the school, of course, like you said, Oliver Twist is always asking for more. There are so many things you can. Just show up over here and also contribute your quota to personally what i want um it to be done right now is the the b-ball course i want it to be done and we also want to bring the statue of the founder of the school over here and also um the football pitch the poles over there 
yeah, I think a student kicked a ball hard against it and it broke. And that student has gotten himself scholarship to go outside and go and play football or something like that. It's a history, it's there, it's on the field. So we also want it to be fixed and all that. So you, the alumni that um, have a better position in life, like you know you have something little in your hands, just come and give something small. Come and donate. You have, in fact, you have money. Come and donate. Sign check, 10,000, 50,000. Come and bring it to the school. <laughs> you let her use that it to do... That would most work <laughs> <laughs> Let her come and use it to do a lot to the school. Until then, this has been my time here at Anna J Senior High School. Fantastic school. If you are an alumni of the school and you've not yet seen the progress of the school, now you've seen everything. So it is time to feel proud as an old student of this school and then come all out to um, share in the aspiration and contribute towards the growth of the school. I have I have leave a number in the description box. Please get in touch with the school administration and find out how you can contribute towards the growth of the school. And we will be so much appreciative. We will thank you a lot. Sir, thank you for talking to me. You most welcome. <laughs> you really made my day. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Yeah.